Hi guys, my name's Mitz and I'm just going to show you a few things that you can um, do on your desktop on Windows 7 um, Ultimate. Okay, um, the first and the easiest thing that I like is that when you're on the desktop, um, it hasn't got a show desktop icon here anymore. It's got a little button right in the corner there that shows the desktop. Now I'm going to show you what it does. So just say you've got some windows open, which I'll open some windows up. Just make them a bit smaller. Now I've got two windows open there. So if I just hover over that desktop thing, see how the windows become clear and it shows the desktop? Um, if I do want to really show the desktop, I can click on it. It's just down here in the corner here, you can see. I can click on it right and it'll actually put the windows minimize them down okay so when you've got programs open but they're not on the desktop you can get them back by coming over here so I've got one program running which is cam studio I've got nothing running there I've got a remote desktop connection running there I've got um, some files open there and then I've got one internet page now, if I had two internet pages, I'll just open up another one. Um, oop, that's not going to help. Just choose something. Now I'm going to put it down there and see what happens. Okay, now two pages come up. And I can very clearly see what they are. And then I can just choose which one I want. And see, see how it flicks across? I love it, it's fantastic. Okay, so I'll choose that one, and there it is. Um, okay, put that down the bottom. Now, also with um, the Windows 7, oh, I'm still saying Vista, but anyway, this is Windows 7, I just can't get used to it. Um, this is Ultimate version. So, it's come with Rocket Docket, which shocked me, because that's a free program, um, but it's installed already with it. So that's pretty cute. It's got these icons that flip out when you mouse across them. Um, and you can add icons to it or remove them or move them around. See they've got the main things here. The computer, the network, my documents, my music, my pictures, control panel. Um, yeah, that's the people that make it. And that's where you can buy a t-shirt if you want to support them. Uh, that's the settings for this dock and that's the recycle bin. Now this one's pretty handy, you just press on that and it opens up the control panel. Okay? Because um, I know a lot of people use the control panel all the time. Um, that'd be nice and handy, that link. Um, what else have we got here? Um, another thing you can do is you can add icons to this. It, this is the quick launch toolbar but it's not called that anymore, it's just the taskbar. Um, if you want to go to the start menu and add an icon to it, all you have to do, just say I want to add this paint one here, um, I could drag it down, that's one way, and then just drop it there. Okay, and I can also, if I right click on it, I can just say unpin from the taskbar and it's gone. But if I, there's another way of putting it there, you just go here and you just right click on it and say pin to taskbar right there. Okay? So you can do that and it's done. Um, also another thing you can do is you can right click on the desktop and you can go to gadgets, right, straight away. You can choose a gadget that you want to put on your desktop. So you just grab it and drop it on there. There you go, it's done. Okay, there's also a weather one. We'll just drag that over there. And it says Canberra. Right? Um, and you can click on it and it'll actually take you to the MSN website where it'll give you more details. Like real details. But anyway, how much details do you need? I don't know. Get rid of that. Um, you can change the settings on it. Um, select a current location 
And let's just check it out and see what happens. Brisbane. And yep. Yep. That's the one. Okay. There we go. Now that's the temperature. Um, gee, I thought it was a bit hotter than that. But anyway. Um, yeah. And if you, if you can't find the gadget that you want, you just press here and you go online and get it. Okay. Another thing that we can do is um, that's really fun is we can right click on the desktop and choose personalize and it comes straight up with this personalization window now I can change the theme straight away okay so let's just press on this one and in the background it changes automatically I'll just get that away for you there we go it changes its picture and everything and I can also just move these anywhere these gadgets they don't go in a sidebar anymore they just go anywhere anywhere you can put them anywhere oh they actually even go over the top of that but that's yeah anyway um, so yeah we'll go back and we'll change another theme um, we'll put this one on there okay and we'll get rid of that and we'll have a look okay that's very interesting Oh, it's very nice. Um, there's a lot of different things you can do here. There we go. We'll go down and have a look. Plenty of different pictures and stuff. There's actually uh, all different countries there. I'll pick the Australia one. Okay, and it's got the Australian Outback there. Um, and it makes it into a slideshow here if you press this one okay and it picks the photos this is out of the Australian thing and um, change the picture every 30 minutes no let's do 10 seconds okay and shuffle and save changes okay so let's close that now in 10 seconds this should change There we go. Now if I wait another 10 seconds, it'll change to something else. Okay, so what else can we do here? See? It's nice, isn't it? I quite like that because it's got the see-through um, bar on there. Yep. Alright, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Um... I'm just going to sit here and watch all these nice pictures flash by. Alright, see you later.